The current high school district understands that in addition to grades, distance learning has had a social and emotional impact on students, especially the socioeconomically disadvantaged English language learners and students with disabilities. The district says they've been working on staff and program development in the process of virtual learning, which includes being flexible with grading. Independence High School physical education teacher Christine Jacobson has been holding Zoom workout classes with this mindset given the circumstances. You know, kids are always going to make excuses and try to work the system, but there are legitimate things like, you know, Wi-Fi issues or internet issues or download issues. So I think there's just, there's been a lot more leeway with, especially with timelines and deadlines. Simpson says that because kids are learning on Zoom all day, they're not moving as much. Her goal is to make sure students get physical activity for at least 30 minutes a day. Jacobson adds that as soon as teachers and students are permitted to go back to in-person instruction, she says she's ready. And on Wednesday morning on 23 ABC News, tune in to find out how parents of Kern High School District do feel about distance learning and its impact on grades. At the Kern High School District, Kristen Barton, 23 ABC News, connecting you.